and this is another episode of Sally Penny Succulents. Hooray for Tip Tooth. I know I've been a little slack over these holidays. I apologize, I'm sorry. But I'm back and I'm here to tell you insects. Because we're going through our Swiss, our sun, water, insects and soil. We've done our sun and water that you'll have to go back and, and revise on, especially in this hot, hot time of year. And now insects. I have put this off just a little bit because I am no expert at this. I have lost so many succulents over mealy bugs. Ah, they're almost as bad as mosquitoes. They're second on my list, and mainly because mosquitoes kill people. Mealy bugs, though, kill plants, so that's second on the list. Mealy bugs are this tiny little insect. You can't, you can hardly see them until someone tells you. They're tiny. They're a grain of salt. They're succulents don't realize that they probably have mealybugs and think that they need to water their plants. Because what mealybugs do is shrivel the leaves. So they sit at the bottom of the leaf or underneath the leaf and they suck the nutrients out of the leaf and the leaf shrivels. Now generally when we see a leaf shriveling, we water it. And I do this, I did it last week with my chain of hearts. I watered it because it looked like it had shriveling leaves. Then I watered it again. And then I checked it for mealybugs and found that there was a whole horde of mealybugs in there. Queen size, mother of all mealybugs. And um, I had watered it too much, so I lost half of it because of that. <laughs> the other easy way to spot mealybugs is actually by ants. Ants love to feed off. They're like a little friendship group, these mealybugs and ants. When there's mealybugs, there's ants and ants and there's mealybugs because the ants actually like to move them to different plants, get rid of the ants, and generally the mealybugs are harder to spread. You can get rid of them quite quickly by hosing them off, but they have a, a waxy substance on the top of the skin layer. So if you just hose them off with water, it generally just protects them and they don't die. Did I mention they're easy to squash? Just get a glove, squash them. Get a little toothpick so you don't wreck the plant itself because your finger's bigger than some of the leaves in there. And you can just dab it and squish it with a toothpick. Grosses you out, which understandably, you have to really hate these things to actually want to just squish them, which I do, so I squish them. Another way to kill them is through a spray. Now, I have done a spray up, mainly because it's natural, and I find that a lot of sprays kill my succulents as well. So I've done up this Mealy Bug Suck Spray. You can start with this for small infestations, but with my chain of hearts, I had to get the big guns out. And what I use for the big guns is Scale Gun. Da -da -da. So over these mealy bugs because in heat they love the humidity, they love the heat, and so they come out in force. So I got my scale gun out and I squirted the heck out of these succulents because you can actually um, squirt it until all the leaves are wet with this stuff. Now this deals with scale as well, and scale's a little bit different. You can see this one over here is full of scale, and just wipe it off basically with with your fingers and a glove succulents that I've just uh, attacked with this scale gun and they seem to have thrived since. All the mealybugs are gone, I can't find any mealybugs on it and they seem healthy still. Hooray! Now good news my environmentally loving animal creature people, uh, there are a few insects that actually like eating mealybugs and that is your ladybirds. So if you've got ladybirds around, awesome. Uh, wasps, also like to eat off the mealybugs and what they call is the mealy destroyer. Looks like a ladybug, here it is. Looks like a ladybug but it's a little bit less pretty and that will destroy and eat your mealybugs too. So if you've got them in your garden, awesome and that is a good sign. Insects to stay, at least hopefully there's some tips to get them away that rhyme. Remember your Swiss, water, sun, insects and soil is next and soil is basically how to get them thriving and bigger and better and looking fab. Hope to see you next week. Bye! You want to say hi to the camera? Hi! What are you eating? Coconut!